Out here in Colt Country, the Rivercrest students are like family. So when three of their own were seriously injured in a car wreck, they rallied together in support. The first night that I heard about it, as soon as they said that we could come, I was there. That was the reaction for most Rivercrest High School students when they learned classmates Zach, Jordan, and Jaron were seriously injured in a wreck. Automatically, I was thinking of the worst. The three boys had a terrible wreck along Highway 14 after a day of fishing. When you think about it, you never think that you'd see your family or close friends in a position like this. The boys were taken to the med in Memphis for their injuries. The injuries ranged from a few scratches to broken bones and even brain bleeding for one. But I know that they'll make it because they're strong and they're going to make it through because all the prayers and support and pray is what their classmates decided to do. Wednesday, they all gathered around the flagpole to pray for their friends. This was what was supposed to happen that everybody was supposed to come together, talk about it, pray about it. Braxton Brown led his classmates in prayer that morning. Everybody just felt, felt like it was just a way to lift it off their shoulders, that they knowing that we don't have to worry, that we know it's in God's hands, and that he's going to work it out for them. Rivercrest classmates wore red today in support of the three boys as well. <laughs> now their friends continue to ask for prayer as the boys continue to heal. I need prayers right now, and they'll really appreciate it. And they, if they could, they would thank all of you right now. Three boys are still in the hospital in Memphis, but their classmates continue to try and visit them every day. But for now, the Rivercrest family ask everyone else to send prayers of healing. Reporting at Rivercrest High School, Meredith Miller, Region 8 News.